All right, guys. I'm gonna show you guys how to get a uh, swipe version 2.10.52.13753. Long story short, it's the upgrade of version 1.6. Uh, which I also did a video on that and um, there's also another version it's called two point uh, swipe 2.6 and there's two versions of this version there's WVGA and HW or HVGA um, if you use an Evo the only thing I know for sure is if you're using an Evo HVGA will not work it'll just force close and just it won't work plain and simple and um wvga works perfectly next we're gonna go to foreshared.com i don't know if you can see that foreshared.com and we're going to type in swipe 2.10 and when we do that this swipe wvga comes up it's only 3.4 megabytes we click on it, we get to the screen, and we wait 20 seconds. Once the 20 seconds are up, then it will um, start your download. Well, it'll give you the download link, and then you can click that. Um, one thing I want to talk about is that in this version of Swipe, um, there's the there's the voice activated part. So, um voice to text or text to voice whatever it's called you can use that and then we would just want to go up here click on it for me I'm just gonna cancel because I already have it right here because I downloaded it earlier today and I thought I'd share it with you guys okay so when you click on that it's just gonna go to package installer yours might not look like this because um unless you already have swipe if you already have swipe delete it and then add this but make sure you have a backup of that swipe because if you don't like this one you can just reinstall that one from your download folder or whatever and the download folder you just go to your internet and you um you hit menu go to more and your downloads are in there Okay, so we're just going to exit out of that. And after that, you need to go to your settings, language and keyboard settings. Then you're going to, okay, you're going to check that swipe box. Then you, um, there's only two languages English, wait, there's, oh, never mind. Um, go to swipe settings right here in the languages there's only US English and Dutch but um, we want to check and uncheck any boxes that we do or do not like um, audio feedback and vibrate on key press are the only ones I unchecked because I don't like them they just waste my battery power also um, you get to have these little tendencies right here like uh, word choice and um, you just put it to what you want it to be because if you want to type very accurately then you would adjust this however you want it okay and it says the version right at the bottom and it has a little tutorial also but um, we want to after that after we activated it we want to go to anywhere basically and then long hold on the screen input method um, hit swipe and then we have this nice looking keyboard here and we have the little voice option over here okay so right here voice option yeah see look at that it's beautiful for all the people who like the stock keyboard because they had a vote has voice on it. Um, also, you can swipe now. You can t um, squirrel, right? Yep, squirrel. See, look at that. Beautiful. 
So if you have any questions you want to ask me, just send me a comment, um, video response. If you like this video and it helped you, then um, give me a good rating, uh, subscribe, and check out my other videos. Um, I don't have a lot of videos yet because I'm just working on getting started with the whole YouTube thing. And I just want to help everyone out there. And... If you're an Android user, you obviously, you'd be watching this. Um, you should get the XDA Developers app. That's for a lot of different questions and developing in ways that you want to do it. Um, if you have any questions, you can also go to XDA Developers. You can go to the website or you can download this application right there. But other than that, that's about it for this video. Come back and watch any of my other videos. Have a nice day.